Guitar friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have an in-depth look at using the MXR M199 Tap Tempo with the TC Electronic Flashback 2. Hello. Come with me now. Hey, hey. <laughs> Okay then, so if you have yourself a TC Electronic Flashback 2, you'll be aware of what a great pedal it is. Um, it's got so many uses, loads of different uh, delay settings within it. Um, it's got three spaces for a, a tone print, which is really great because if you've got three tone prints you like, you can store them in there. At the moment, I've got, I think I've got um, Pete Thorne's um, tone print, I've got the Tone King's tone print, and I've got a tone print which adds a uh, octave above, which is really nice for dreamy stuff. Uh, you may or may not be aware that you can also use a tap tempo with the flashback too. Um, when you get the pedal out of the box, it is set up to be used as a stereo delay pedal, um, um, obviously with two ins and two outs uh, and that's so if you want to split your signal over two amps and have um, a dry signal going to one amp and the uh, delay effect going to another amp uh, you can do that by using these two inputs and outputs if you want to use uh, the tap tempo unfortunately you won't be able to do that because you have to assign this stereo in as the tap tempo now, if you want to do this, if you want to use tap tempo with the flashback too, you won't be able to use your normal standard um, patch cables. Um, you'll need something called a TRS cable. Um, now, you can see on this standard patch cable here, um, it's just got one of these circles um, here and the uh, shaft or sheath, shield, whatever you want to call it, along there. So, if you try to use this, it will not work. That's why you need a TRS cable, which you can see the difference there. It has two bands and obviously uh, which one of them is welded to the, the shield here. So TRS stands for tip, ring and sleeve. Um, now you need one of these if you want to use the, um, the MXR Tap Tempo with the TC Electronic Flashback 2. So you can go and get one of these, I think you can probably track one down on Amazon um, or, or, or other music online retailers. Um, once you have that, uh, you plug that in there and you plug it into the tap tempo and it still will not work. Now, why will it not work? two reasons. I will tell you them now because I went through this and I want to save you a whole load of confusion. Once you have your tap tempo, you have your TRS cable. So the first thing you do is take the back off the uh, the M199 tap tempo from MXR. It's just three screws, uh, sorry, four screws, very simple. Um, and inside you'll find these little dip switches. And the standard position which this pedal comes in is one up, two down, three down. Okay, so what you need to do if you want to use it with the uh, flashback two, you have to make, um, you have to turn one down and you have to put two up. A bit tricky, you need a little uh, prodding device. There we go, so it almost makes like a, a kind of triangle shape. Um, so that's one down, two up, three down. So once you've done that, you've taken the back off the uh, tap tempo, you've changed the uh, dip switches so the two position is up and one and three are down. You plug it all back in with your TRS cable, you go to tap tempo and it still doesn't work. And you're like, why? Ah! It's because you have to go into the TC electronic tone print software. Um, you're, you're aware if you have one of these pedals that you can have the tone print where you beam it from your phone. Um, you have to download that software and it has the tone 
editing software on it. So you'll also be aware if you have this pedal that it comes with a USB lead which plugs into the back here. Uh, you may or no, may not know what that USB lead is for. You need to plug um, it into your pedal here and then plug it into your computing device. Then you open the tone editing software and you need to assign this stereo in to the tap tempo. It's just a very simple switch that you need to press. It's just one switch that says enable tap tempo. Once that is pressed, it'll save it to the pedal. Uh, you close down the software, you unplug this and then finally the tap tempo will work. So let's just recap. You get your MXR M199 tap tempo. You open the back, you put the two position up and the one and three position are down. You then get your TRS cable, remember, not a normal cable. Ah. TRS, tip ring sleeve. You get one of these, you plug it in there, plug it in there. Still doesn't work. You get the USB lead, you plug it in here. You plug it in to the tone editing software. You press enable tap tempo, which basically um, changes this stereo input into a momentary um, switch. So you don't have to actually use the MXR tap tempo. You can use any kind of tap tempo system. I'm not saying this is going to work on every tap tempo. I'm specifically just talking about the MXR one because that's what I've got. So once you've clicked the button on the tone editing software, you take the USB out, you close down that software and it should work. Perfect. So why don't we try it out? Let's do it. So we're back with it all plugged in and hopefully now the tap tempo should be working. Let's demo it. <laughs> Okay, see that? So it's automatically changed the delay repeat to the time that I tapped. So let's try a different timing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's, let's change it to a slower one. So your drummer's going boo, ka, boo, boo, ka. One. It's such a great thing if you're in a band and you're playing with a drummer, um, it's really good to have this on there because you can make sure your um, repeats are in time with the drummer. Obviously there's always going to be some kind of fluctuation anyway because we all know drummers. <laughs> um, so. If you're worried that it's going to sound too clinical, it really doesn't. It's, a, it's just, just a really nice quick way of getting your delays in time with the song that you are playing. Um, the kind of uh, situation I would use it, um, maybe the, the delay switched off and you're playing a song and the song is coming to an end and when the song finishes you want some delays to carry on. So let's see if we can do that. You have to imagine a drummer and a band playing with me, okay? So. And you're coming up to the last bars. And the delay should be in time with how the song finishes. Because um, it's really embarrassing when you try that and your delays aren't in time and the song finishes. Boom, boom, ka -ba boom, boom. And your delay's going. <coughs> and it was completely out of time. Another really great benefit of having the MXR Tap Tempo along with the TC Flashback 2 is it acts as a dead stop for the looper. Now, those of you know who have the TC Ditto Looper know that it's a great practice tool. Um, unfortunately, it's a bit hard to stop it on a dead stop, so you can't really use it in a band environment if you wanted to, because um, you would have to do a double tap and sometimes that can get you into trouble. With the flashback 2 that problem is gone. So I've just looped something. Let's start that now. I'm back in. One, 
two, three, four. <laughs> M199 tap tempo used with the flashback too. If you're in a band and you want to start using this delay and keep it in time with your drummer, it's such a great thing. Also, if you uh, use uh, looping and you use this pedal for live looping, I would definitely get one of these because it just makes the looping system so much more easier when you can just and stop at your will. No double tapping or anything like that. It makes it so easy. So guys, thank you so much for joining me on that tapping adventure. It was a really great time and I hopefully uh, this information will be useful to you. I will see you next time, old friends. <laughs> Hello there harmonica friends and welcome to today's lesson. We will be puffing on a D harmonica today and I now will teach you the rules. It's suck, blow, blow, suck, 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 blow. And I'm not talking about last Tuesday down the Blue Oyster Bar. <laughs> Good, tune in next week for lesson two! Moon.